Welcome to our lecture online. In this JE physics problem, we're faced with something called the escape velocity. How much do we understand it and can we find the correct answer in this particular problem? Well, let's read the problem and see if we can. It says that given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion A and the other is labeled as reason R. Hmm. Label. Does that come with one L or two L's? Okay, all right. Assertion A, the escape velocities of planet A and B are the same, but A and B are, are of unequal masses. The reason R says the product of their masses must be the same. M1R1 must equal M2R2. In the light of the above statements, choose the most appropriate answer from the options given below. And we're, we have four possible answers. Both A and R are correct, but R is not the correct explanation of A. A is correct, but R is not correct. Both A and R are correct, and R is the correct explanation of A. And A is not correct, but R is correct. So, what do we know about the escape velocity? Well, let's take a look at the equation and see what happens. Well, it turns out that the escape velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times the orbital velocity. And the orbital velocity can be found this way. It's the square root of 2 times the square root of g m over r. In other words, the escape velocity is proportional to the square root of the mass of the object divided by the radius of the object. Now let's take a look at assertion A. It says that the escape velocities of planet A and B are the same. So I have two planets. But A and B are of unequal masses. Is that possible? Can you have two planets of different masses that have the same velocity, escape velocity? And the, and the answer is yes, because it depends on both the mass and the radius. So if the masses are not the same, then that can be made up by the fact that the radius don't have to be the same either. So with the proper combination of mass and radius, you could have two planets with unequal mass that have the same escape velocity. So we can say that assertion A must be correct. Well, can we already eliminate some uh, answers? A is not correct, so that's wrong. Both A and R are correct. A and R are correct. A is correct. So the other three answers are still possible. Okay, now next. The reason that this can be true, they claim, is that the product of their masses must be the same. So for that to be true, M1R1 must equal M2R2. But wait a minute, we know that the escape velocity is, is proportional to the square root of M over R. If the escape velocities of planet 1 is going to be equal to the escape velocity of planet 2, what that means is that m1 over r1 must equal m2 over r2. For that to be true, this must be true. So when we cross multiply, we see that m1 r2 must equal m2 r1. And so that is not what they have over there, which means that reason r is not correct. So both a and r are correct. Well, that's not true because r is not correct. A and R are correct, that's not true. We're only left with one possible answer, and let's see if that matches. A is correct, but R is not correct. We see that it's not correct, so we, we see that we're okay on both assertion and reason, so we know now that B is the correct answer. And that is how it's done. So, straightforward, but you gotta be careful about how you come to the conclusion that if those two have to be the same, that must be the same. That's the key.